Good evening, YouTube. Bill number three down here in the Carolinas. What we got up on the bench today is a two by eight for Mr. Perry. 609 double shot. This thing gleams. Looks pretty good. Pretty damn good. Runs real good. It's got uh, six of the switches in it. 190 amps. Got two 2879 HGs. Driving eight 2879 HGs. Got me put some caps out in the back to help filter it out a little bit. Got a 30 amp uh, relay. Got a preamp in it. Does pretty good. Got these nice uh, blue LED fans on them. They look but good, but uh, they don't blow, blow quite as much air as I thought they would. But uh, that's what he wanted. So that's what he got. Camera back on this thing. Hold on up. What it looks like with the cabinet on. Turn the power on. And this is in operate. That's standby. This is preamp down here. Let me turn the volume up on this little stock radio. You can see preamp come on. It's off. This is on a dummy load. A little bit. We're going to fire down on this thing. That's a 5 watt slug in reverse. We'll turn it back off. So you talk through. 5 watt slug in reverse. Hello, 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 hello. Real good. Turn it back on. It's going to be reverse watts. It's 5 watts left again. It's reversed. Hello, 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 hello. About 3 quarters of a watt. Let me turn it on. That's what it does in bird. Average. 1,000 watt slug. Oh, let me show you. Radio. Turn the amp back off. It's in neutral. This is just a radio. It's a stock radio. Just modulation turned up on it. That's what the radio does. 20 watt scale. Oh, dio. About 11. 11, 12 watts. Good day, about 12. So ain't no whole lot of drive on it. Just a a little stock radio turn it back on 1000 watt slug oh deal I've seen it get up around a thousand most time about 800 I don't know if you can see it real good you reading that bottom scale 1000 watt slug Audio. Audio. See, talking, 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 talking. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're talking around seven hundred. Like I said, that's just a little regular stock radio. Let me pop this uh, thousand watt slug out. Put in his 2500 watt. The reason putting this in, re peak, and uh, I got a peak kit. This is one from Florida. This is in the center position. That's up, center, down, 
So that's then the center position. That's face value. So you're gonna read that top scale. Five is five hundred. Ten is a thousand. Fifteen hundred is well. Fifteen is fifteen hundred. Two is the twenty is two thousand. Hello, one two one two one two audio. There it is. The thing moves kind of slow. I need to adjust that attenuate a little bit. Let's just settle on down. Hello, talky 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 talky. Doing pretty good. This is it. He hit the one from uh, from Florida. It's doing pretty good. Got a lot of blue there. A lot of blue. And one with all blue lights. I was going to switch this one to maybe a different color. Red or orange or yellow or something like that. He said leave it blue. So I left it blue. That's what I have to bring out. That's in neutral position, so you can keep the mic, talk barefoot it. That right there is with the preamp on, and you can still talk. Either way you want to do it. It has got a variable on it. Works pretty good. But, uh, yeah, that's what it is. It's got a good translucent candy color to it. And it did take me a little while to build this box. I didn't... Cut no corners, I took my time and uh, took some advice from a few good people out there. One good one uh, helped me out a whole lot. He's got a nice shiny coat to it. Hope old 609 is going to be happy with it. Hope he got his stuff right at his house. You ain't gonna run no big radio on it. Just run your, you know, one dude, uh, you know, 10, 12, 15, 20 watts, something other like that. Only you ain't gonna run no big radio. Because it's got a driver in it, and the driver's doing pretty good. I tested the driver separate from the uh, 8 pill. She's putting out real good. So you don't need all that push. Pushing these eight very well. Great looking, great built. Everything's brand new. I don't mean nothing, but uh, I had a little issue with a couple of. Uh, little transistors bought some cheaper ones and uh, found out that it didn't work right so that th threw me back a little bit but uh, finally got some good ones again they worked out but this is class C I got to look the bound up on top of that I just didn't want them sticking down out of the way Got everything up and nice and neat. I'm looking through the camera. And the combiners don't get hot. Run good and cool. Talked to a lot of people on this box, on the antenna. Uh, everybody says it's running good. Got a big old nice beefy cord in it. They pull this monster 190 amp. She's running good. I see this one kind of the fan stays on, blows all the time. But well, the rest of them don't. And I bought all of these at the same time. I don't know why this one I did, went in done the modifications to all of them. But this is the only one the fan runs in all the time. All the rest of them, when you apply power, so when you key the mic, 
the fans come on, cool it down. We just got all these other fans helping. But uh, yeah, the only drawback to this is I just wish these fans put out a little bit more air. I know it's six of them in there. I hope it's going to be sufficient enough. Uh, that would be the only drawback I see to it. You know, if you want some nice blue fans and want them quiet, don't want them all loud and everything, I mean, that's what you have to deal with. It might be blowing more than I thought, but uh, that's what we got. That's what we got. All right, then. Have a good one. Bill number three down here in the Carolinas. Y'all have a good one. Have a good one, Double Shot. Appreciate your business. Appreciate it. Later.